everyone, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my foundation collection. Um, I have quite a few of foundations, of course, both high-end and drugstore foundations. I also want to quickly mention, if you're interested in this eye look that I have going on, I did film a review and tutorial on the BH Cosmetics Foiled Eyes 2 palette. So I do include a tutorial on the look that I am wearing and it should be up before this video. If you're interested, I will leave a link down below. So I think the next collection video I want to film is my highlighter collection video. Just leave a comment down in the comment section below and I will go ahead and try to do something that you guys actually want to watch. But I'm definitely thinking about doing my highlighter collection video next. I do want to mention as well that I am not trying to brag on what I have. I did also upload an eyeshadow palette collection. If you're interested, I'll link it down below. So I want to continue sharing what I have in my collection. If you are not yet subscribed to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe down below. And also, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up as well. So if you would like to see my foundation collection, then just keep on watching. So I'm going to start off with my drugstore foundations first, but I'm going to start off with this one actually. This is the Manic Panic Dream Tone Flawless Foundation and Color Correcting. Um, I actually just got this a few days ago, and I picked this up because I've heard amazing things about it. And this is used for lightening foundations that are too dark for you. And I've heard amazing things about this um, product, so I definitely wanted to get my hands on this. And I'm pretty excited about this because I'm going to be able to use dark foundations that I have that I haven't been able to use for quite some time. So these are my Maybelline foundations. So this one is the Maybelline Matte and Poreless Foundation. And I have two shades. I have 128 and 220. 128 is my winter shade and then 220 is more of my shade like in the summertime and I'm actually like halfway from this one. This is one of my favorite foundations. I like that it's matte and it also kind of blurs out my pores so I would definitely recommend you guys picking this up if you're oily. The next one I have here is this Super Stay Better Skin Foundation and I'm in the shade 30 Warm Nude. I believe people were comparing this foundation to the Makeup Forever one, I think, I'm pretty sure. Again, this one's actually a little too dark for me so I'm going to be using this to lighten it up but I've heard amazing things about it. Um, this next one is the only cushion foundation I have and this is the Maybelline Dream Cushion Fresh Face Liquid Foundation and I'm in the shade 30 Warm Nude which is kind of weird because this doesn't look dark on me whereas this one does. So this one comes in this compact and I haven't used this, I just keep it in there. And then you open it up right here and again I do keep this in there just because I feel like it's like extra protecting it to stay like just not to dry up. But this is what it looks like. Again, it has a little cushion and I like to use it with the brush and also a beauty sponge. If I want more coverage, of course, I use the brush. But this has a luminous finish. So if you're interested in a luminous um, foundation, try this one. This next one is the Maybelline Dream Liquid Mousse foundation and it's like an airbrush foundation and I'm in the shade sandy beige which is medium one. I haven't used this foundation in a while. I think this shade was a tad pink on me even though it kind of looks yellow. It's a tad pink so I don't really use this foundation but I felt like it did give a really nice finish to the skin as well. So and the next like drugstore foundations I have are from L'Oreal and I actually like the L'Oreal brand. I really like their mascaras as well. So this is the Infallible line. This is the um, Infallible Pro Matte. This one is the Pro Glow and this one is the Total Cover. I'm in the shade that ends in 05 for all of them. So this is 105, this is 205, and this is 305. From the three, uh, my favorite is actually this one right here. I feel like it gives the coverage to my skin and it doesn't look cakey on me either. Um, I really like the finish of this one compared to these two. This one's a Pro Glow um, foundation. So this one has a more luminous finish to the skin. If you're really dry, I recommend you guys picking this one up. But if you are really oily, I recommend you guys trying the Pro Matte. I feel like this one's a tad too like matte for me. I like more satiny finished foundations. So I feel like this one right here is kind of like a combination of the two. I don't know. I just like that this one has the coverage. And it also um, doesn't look cakey on my skin. And then lastly is this True Match Foundation. 
And I'm in the shade Warm W4 Natural Beige. And I actually really like this foundation. Um, a lot of people compare this foundation to the MAC Select Cover Up, I believe. Um, I like the foundation. I like that it's um, affordable as well. And it does give a nice coverage to the skin. It's not matte and it's not um, luminous either. I like the finish of this. So try this out if you haven't. So this is the last set of my foundations that I have from the drugstore. So this first one is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Tint. And it has hyaluronic acid in it. And this foundation is supposed to moisturize and plump skin for 24 hours. And I'm in the shade Natural Beige number 60. The applicator is really cool. It's kind of like a concealer wand. I really like that. But the only thing is that I feel like this is water-based because when I apply it to the skin, you have to like really blend it out super fast because I feel like it dries really, really fast. So I like the finish of it, but the the con about this foundation is that you have to blend really, really fast. I'm not sure if I just need to use a more like moisturizing um, primer. I just feel like I need to work really fast when I use this. But overall, the finish of it has like a natural finish. It doesn't have a lot of coverage either. So it's more like a light, not really medium, but you can build it up to a medium, but it does have light coverage. Next foundation here is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in the shade Golden Beige. I did do a first impressions video and I did include this foundation. And this foundation comes with a little wand here, a flat applicator to apply it. I like the coverage of this. This definitely has a medium to full coverage. It did wear really nicely on my skin, but by the end of the day I did get a little oily on my T-zone. But I do feel like this this foundation has really good coverage. This next foundation is the Sonia Kashuk Soft Focus Satin Matte Foundation, and I have mine in the shade 03. And this does come with a pump, which I really like. This foundation is actually like a tad, a hair too dark on me, but this foundation is also, also will work for me um, during the summertime. I won't need to lighten it or anything. Definitely considering picking up the lighter shade of this because I actually really like this foundation. And it's satin finish, which is my favorite types of foundations to use. It doesn't look super matte, drying on the skin or anything like that. So I love this foundation. Perfect. I like it a lot. The only con is that it's a, it's a hair too light for me. So this next one is the CoverGirl Clean Matte. I'm in the shade 530 Light Medium. It's a BB cream for oily skin. I do not have oily skin. I have more of a... Uh, um, normal skin with combination skin but this one um, is just like a squeezy bottle and the coverage is pretty light if you want just something that's really light for every day this is actually really nice it does have some coverage on it actually so it's not like super super light but it is nice for an everyday it says BB cream but I feel like it's like a foundation this next one is new to my collection. It's not new at the drugstore, but I just picked this up. This is the Rimmel London Lasting Finish. I'm in the shade 200 Soft Beige. I've actually used this foundation a few times already, and I really, really like this foundation. This is the one that I have on my skin in this video, actually. I used this, and overall, I like it. I think it's um, medium coverage. I definitely think you can build it up. I like the finish of it. It's not, like, super matte again. Um, I don't like super matte foundations on me, but I feel like this one's a good one to grab from the drugstore. This next one is the NYX Total Control um, Drop Foundation. I picked up in the shade 09. Um, I think this is just like an olive shade. I haven't even opened it. It does come in a dropper. I've heard mixed reviews. It says that you can use like up to three or four drops for full coverage foundation, but I've heard a lot of people say that it's not even close to full coverage at all they say that this is more like a um natural foundation so this is in medium olive actually and it does come with a dropper so this is what it looks like here again i haven't used this foundation this is pretty new to my collection but it people say this is more like an everyday natural foundation next up is this hard candy glamouflage invisible camouflage foundation and it does come with a pump as well which is nice i picked up the shade light these foundations run like darker than like lights because it says I'm light, but obviously it's not very light because it's pretty dark. But this is a full coverage foundation. I applied like 
two and a half pumps on the back of my hand and then I used my beauty blender to go ahead and apply it to the face. I only needed to use what was on my beauty blender and I still had a whole bunch of foundation on the back of my hand. So this is definitely full coverage. If you have like acne scars or a lot of acne on the face, this will definitely cover it up. Um, I heard this is a good dupe for the Kat Von D Lock It Foundation. Heard that one's super full coverage. So if you're looking for an affordable alternative, try this one out. Lastly, I have these two foundations, which are from Milani, and it's the Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer, and I have mine in the shade 01 Creamy Vanilla and 03 Light Beige, and they both come with pumps here. Um, Creamy Vanilla is my winter shade, whereas Light Beige is more of my summer shade. Full coverage, definitely at least medium coverage. You can definitely build it up to full coverage. So this is the start of my higher end foundation. So of course, oldies but goodies are the MAC. MAC was again the first brand that I ever purchased high end. So I have the MAC Studio Fix Fluid. It does have SPF 15 and I have the shade NC30. Um, this shade is way too dark for me. I have not used this foundation in months. Again, so happy I have the um, white foundation to lighten this one up. This one's full coverage. This is the one that I was telling you guys that L'Oreal is supposed to be a dupe for this one, the True Match foundation. This one has a medium to full coverage. Again, um, it doesn't have a pump or anything. It just comes in a regular glass bottle. And then on the other side of the spectrum from the two, this is the MAC Face and Body Foundation. And I have the shade C2. This is what it looks like. It's kind of nasty. I haven't used this in a while, actually. This might be expired already. But this is super light coverage if you just want, like, a light coverage to the skin. Something very, very natural. You want to be natural, but you don't want to really not have any foundation on the skin. Um, this one's a good one. Next this up is are the two Urban Decay foundations that I do have. This one is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation. Weightless Ultra Definition. And it's in the shade 4.0. I'm actually like almost done with this. It's like down here. I'll definitely be repurchasing this one. I feel like this is like medium coverage, but it doesn't look cakey on the skin. On the other hand, this one is the Urban Decay All Nighter Waterproof um, Longwear Liquid Foundation. Again, I'm in the shade 4.0. This is actually too dark on me right now during the winter time. You can tell that this is like dark on the face, whereas my neck is like way lighter. So I can't really use this foundation during the winter time it's more of my shade during summer this is definitely full coverage compared to this one I find that it kind of like blows out the face the pores are gone um, it does have the coverage I just really like this foundation for full coverage foundation days so here's my next set so the first two foundations are both from Becca this first one is the radiant skin satin finish foundation this is in the shade buttercup and this is just like a squeezy tube. Um, this foundation is actually light for me. You're not going to find a lot of foundations that are actually light on me, but this one is. Um, it does look radiant on the skin as well. I don't use this very often because it's, again, just too light on me. But I definitely need to pass this on to a friend or something that is lighter complexion than I am because it's not... Actually, I haven't even tried it during the winter, but during the summer, definitely not my shade. And this one I picked up about a month or so ago. This is the Becca Ever Matte Shine Proof Foundation. And this one is my shade. It's in the shade Nude. I picked this up at Ulta. I was able to swatch the shades. And again, in another squeeze tube bottle. If you're looking for a matte foundation, this one's a good one. I don't even have to blot my face when I use this or even set it. It's just super, super matte. Pretty much medium to full coverage. This one's a good one. I really like wearing this one as well when I have like really dramatic eye looks. Next up are my Tarte foundations. And these are two of the same. Actually, this is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation. This is in the shade Medium Honey. This one's actually a little too pink on me. And this one is in Medium Neutral. And I actually got this one for free from Tarte when I placed my order. And this one's Medium Skin with Yellow and Pink Undertones. And this one definitely is more of my color than this one is. You can see kind of. I don't know if you guys can tell, but this one does look more yellow than this one does. But I got this one for free because I placed an order at TartCosmetics.com. I ordered two of their empty palettes 
And I only got one of them and then they threw this in. I don't know why, but thank you very much because it's actually my shade. And when I contacted them, they just credited my account for the empty palette and just let me keep this one, which is awesome because this one's actually more my shade than this one is. Again, this is full coverage. This one looks actually really nice on the skin, even though it's full coverage. You know how some foundations just look cakey on the skin. This one, I don't feel like it does look cakey on the skin. Of course, if you apply a lot, it will but I don't feel like it does. So Lastly, I from my Tarte Foundations, this is the Rainforest of the Sea Water Foundation, and this one actually has a dropper also, like the NYX one. This is in the shade Light Sand, and I like this foundation a lot. When I first got it, I did not like it at all, but recently I've been playing with it a little more. I just felt like it looked really cakey on my skin, but I learned that I don't need to apply a lot because it's even though it's a water foundation, it does have the coverage. So next set, I have Makeup Forever and Estee Lauder. So I'm going to start off with the Makeup Forever. This is the HD High Definition Foundation and this one comes with a pump as well. This one is very, very old. You can't even pick this up anymore. They did update their foundation and also their packaging on the new HD foundation that Makeup Forever has. And this one was in the shade N120, and this is super old. This was one of the first foundations I picked up that were high-end. I haven't tried the new HD, but when I did use this, um, I really liked the coverage of it. It was like a medium coverage on this. And then this one is the Makeup Forever Foundation Stick, and it's also HD. And this is in the shade 125. This is too pink on me. I don't use it, I've used it probably like a couple times, but this is a foundation stick. So I don't use it very often. Again, the shade is just too light on me, so I don't use this. This is pink, but I've heard amazing things about it. A lot of people like this foundation. I don't know if I want to actually pick another one up of these. I'm like super bad in returning stuff. I don't know if you guys are as well, but I always keep everything I buy. Recently, I started returning stuff or exchanging things pretty much I'll keep anything I order like my bad I messed up so I guess I just need to keep it but if the foundation doesn't work for you the shade is too dark or too light or too pink or too yellow definitely exchange it for your shade because foundation is definitely very important for you to like match for your skin and from the three this one's my favorite obviously <laughs> Because I don't use this one and this one's too pink and this one's like my perfect shade. This is the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Plus and this is in the shade 40. And this one is actually really nice. I love the finish of it. It's a velvet finish. And again, this is just comes in like a squeezy bottle. Can you believe that this is one fluid ounce compared to this one where this is a fluid ounce also? You feel like you don't even get that much product when you pick this up. But you're getting the same amount that you are in these like bigger containers. It just feels like when I got it, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm not even getting that much, but it is a full fluid ounce. It actually has more than an ounce, but a lot of the foundations, it's one fluid ounce. This is a fluid ounce, so, but I do like this one. This one's like a medium coverage, looks nice on the skin. I really like this one. Next up are my two Estee Lauder foundations. These are the Double Wear Stay In Place Makeup. I have 2W2 Rotan and 3W1 Tawny. This is too yellow on me and this is too dark on me. So I usually mix both of them. I feel like my perfect shade would be the one lighter than this one. This is like way too yellow compared to this one. This does have a like matte finish. Again, um, medium to buildable coverage. These are actually MAC pumps that I applied to my Estee Lauder foundations. So it doesn't come with a pump, it just comes with like a gold cap. So again, these are MAC pumps. They don't come with the foundation. So these are my foundations that are more like higher end foundations that only have one up. So this first one is the Marinesse Liquid Silk Foundation and I picked up the shade 21 Vienna. And this one does come with a pump. I love that foundations are starting to come with like pumps because it's so much more convenient to actually pump out your foundation than to actually like tip the container over, put it in the back of your hand or put it somewhere to apply the foundation. But I actually picked this up on Hot Look and I picked it up because it said liquid silk. And again, the shade is kind of dark on me, so I don't really use this foundation. I've used it like two or three times. It does say it's matte, oil-free, and it does have SPF of 15. And another foundation I haven't really been using either is this Too Faced Born This Way Absolute Perfection Foundation. And this is in the shade Warm Beige. 
Again, it comes with the pump as well, but this shade is too dark on me. I have not really been using this foundation. Um, I heard a lot of people love it. It's a natural, they say it's like a natural finish foundation with the coverage. Actually, what I do remember about this is that it did break me out, but I wasn't using my Clinique lotion, clarifying lotion back then. And I haven't really been breaking out since I started using that. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this out. This is the EX1 Invisiwear Liquid Foundation, and this is in the shade F200. Um, this shade is actually a tad hair too dark on me. Um, it also does come with a pump. I haven't used this in a while. Um, I don't remember <laughs> how I liked it or not. I remember it did have coverage. I haven't used this in forever. This is actually really old. I probably need to throw this one away. I don't remember how I like this foundation. Can anybody tell me if you guys liked it? <laughs> Next up is this NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. And this is, has a pump also. And this is in the shade Medium 3 Stromboli. Again, too dark on me. It's supposed to be full coverage and not look cakey on the skin. Again, too dark. We'll be trying this out with my light foundation. And one that I do like is this Lancome Tint Idol Ultra 24 Hour Makeup. And this is in the shade 320 Bisque W. Again, it does come with a pump. I'm actually like almost done with this if it's not done already. I have like tried pumping it out and not very much comes out. So this will probably be in an empties video very, very soon. I love the finish of this. It looks like a satiny finish on the skin. It, it looks very, very pretty on the skin. I love this foundation. I think I will definitely be repurchasing this once I run out of it. This next one is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Cream. And it's a color correcting full coverage cream plus anti-aging hydrating serum. And it does have SPF 50 and I'm in the shade medium. This is a CC cream, but this has coverage. This is like a foundation. It's really nice. I like it. If you haven't tried it out, try it out. And this is medium coverage foundation or CC cream. Lastly is this Smashbox Studio Skin 15 Hour Wear Hydrating Foundation. I picked up the shade 2.1 and this one does have a pump as well. I love this foundation. I'm actually halfway done with this. The only thing that is a con about it is that I use like three to four pumps to get the coverage that I like when I first got this. I was like, I don't even know what people are raving about this because it doesn't even have coverage. But... You definitely need to build it up, which kind of sucks because you can't just use one or two pumps. Reasoning why I'm probably almost like I'm halfway because I use a lot of it, but I love the finish of medium coverage, natural looking on the skin. I really like this foundation and I think I would repurchase this one as well if I run. So this is the last set of my high end foundations. These are definitely the higher end of high end of foundation that I do have in my collection. This first one is the... YSL La Tente Touche Eclat. I don't know. <clears throat> but I picked mine in the shade BD50. This is a illuminating foundation. And it's a tad too dark on me. But that did not stop me from wearing it. As you can see here actually. I'm like halfway. The other day I was looking at my foundations. And I was like thank god. I'm like almost done with all of these. Like a whole bunch of foundations. Because I have way too many. And um, I just need to use up my high ends. Definitely these because these are not cheap. I don't think I will re be repurchasing this foundation once I run out of it. I did pick this up during a VIB Rouge sale because I definitely wanted to get a discount on this because this is pretty pricey. I think it's around like $50 or $60. Uh, lots and lots of money, right? Have you guys seen that meme on the internet where they say credit your girlfriend's foundation or something like that and it says like because her foundation could fill up your gas tank which is definitely true but this is an illuminating foundation it has like medium coverage um if you like um illuminating foundations this one's a nice one but i like more of a satin velvet finish foundation so i definitely won't be repurchasing this one next up is the Giorgio armani luminous silk foundation i have mine in the shade 5.75 i am halfway done with this one as well which i am pretty excited about it does have a pump actually this one doesn't have a pump oh yeah it does it has a pump also, which is nice because it's pretty pricey. So this one does come with a pump also. It's kind of nasty. Sorry about that. But Luminous Silk Foundation, definitely luminous on the skin as well. This shade is a tad too um, dark on me. I think I'm more of 5.5. 5. 
I don't think I'll be repurchasing this foundation either. What I do is mix my luminous foundations with my super matte foundations to get the in-between finish. And that's been working out for me, but I don't know. I don't think I would be repurchasing these two because especially this is like $60 also. So yeah, and this one has like a light medium coverage. Next up is this Hourglass Vanish Seamless Finish Foundation Stick. I have mine in the shade Sand. I haven't even used this, you guys. This is too dark on me. This is the packaging. And this is what it looks like. I haven't used this. I just swatched it and I'm like, this is like way too dark and way too yellow on me. I need a lighter shade. And of course, I never returned it and I never exchanged it. So it's definitely way too long to exchange it or anything. I just have had this for months. I think I could still return it, but I'll get like half of it back, which this foundation I think is like 40 something dollars. I don't really want to get 20 bucks out of it since I haven't really used it. So... I don't know, do you guys know a way that I can lighten it? Maybe I'll try my white foundation on it, but I don't think it's going to work. I haven't used this foundation, so I don't know how the finish is, but I have heard amazing things about this, reasoning why I picked it up. But again, I have not tried it because it's just too dark on me. Lastly is the Chanel Perfection Lumiere Velvet Finish Foundation. It has SPF 15, and I picked up the shade 40 Beige. This is too pink on me. Can you guys tell? Like, it's just a pink finish i'm more of a warm undertone i do like the finish of it it's a medium finish foundation it's just too pink on me oh so God. this is my foundation collection there are some hit and miss out there again i haven't decluttered anything i'm sure i could pretty much declutter a lot of stuff that are in here but i just wanted to share with you guys all the foundations i do have in my collection some are hit, some are missed, some are too dark for me, some I love, some I don't. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Thumbs up. Also, let me know down in the comments section below what collection video you'd like to see from me. I was thinking highlighters next, but let me know down in the comments section what would you like to see next. So yeah, I will see you all in my next video. Bye!